Nicole. And my name's Nicole. And today we are going to show you how to clean your capping station. Yep. Now, Nicole, what is it that we're going to need to do this process? First, you're going to need some hot distilled water. You're going to need a little eyedropper tool we got in here. Perfect. You're going to need some lint-free cloths. Or a lint-free Q-tip. Yep. And then got a little Q-tip here. Ours is a little extended. A regular one do fine. And then you'll need a screwdriver. Perfect. All right, so to get this started here, we do have to open up the top of the printer. Yes. Now, Nicole, what's next? What do we got to do next? This is where the screwdriver comes in. You're going to put it into the little door center here. Perfect. So that way it tricks the printer into thinking that the door is closed when it's actually open, giving you access. Yes. Now, we do have to power cycle the printer here in order to get the print head to move, correct? That is correct. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and let you start that. Shutting down. This next part here, you do want to kind of already jimmy your power switch yeah. so it's kind of halfway in, halfway out. Yeah. Um, so that way you'll have an easier time pulling out when needed. Yeah. All right, so go ahead. And you're going to see here that the print head's going to move over and then Evan's going to pull it out in the right time so it's uncapped. And that's going to be where your capping station is. You just want is. to expose the part underneath the print head. There's the feed belt. There it goes. That's our cue. Got it. Perfect. Wonderful. So now we can clean the capping station, which is that section underneath. Yeah, you right, got it. So how do we do this, Nicole? Yes, yeah, so you can take your hot distilled water okay. with your little eyedropper tool, get some water in there. Get some water in there, so that's all for you. Yep. And so you see you have two sections. Got one for your cyan and black. Put some water in there. And I'm gonna get me some more water for the other head, which Looks is. Looks like you kind of soaked up some ink from there. Yeah. Sometimes um, some water, uh, ink can get in there. So. And that one's for your magenta and yellow? Magenta and yellow. Magenta and yellow one does not have a sponge. It's just gonna uh, soak right through to your waste unit. Okay? All right. All right. So, so now. That's kind of pulled in there, huh? Yeah. So, what I would suggest doing is take your lint free cloth and fold it up and just. Soak up that excess water. Um, and uh, you may be seeing like the water pool there if you got a, a, some clogs. So in that case, you would just go in again with your hot still water and just add more there to it. Now the main key on the capping station clean is patience. Yeah. So for stubborn clogs, you may need to perform this a few times. Um, yep. But patience really is key. Yeah, so, uh, and with that, there are a few types of capping station cleans. Right now, we're um, doing the basic one where you go in with the hot distilled water and you dab it up, and then... There's the intermittent clean yeah. where you have to leave the water in for, what is it, 20, 30 minutes? -ish? Yeah. And then you'll want to get at it again with the, uh, the lint-free cloth, and then you'll want to add water again, leave it for another 20, 30 minutes, and then go at it again. Yes. And then you have the extended one, where that's going to be about like six to eight hours, where you just leave the hot distilled water in the station. You'll actually move your print head so it's covering your capping station, so that way the heads can rest gently onto it as it's soaking. Yeah, and in between those six and eight hours, you can go in and, you know, um, put some fresh hot water in there, so it really is absorbing all that excess ink and cleaning it out uh, perfectly for you. So now... I'm just gonna take this, dab it away, and then there's like these little, uh, was it wipers here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my Q-tip, get some hot distilled water. I'm just gonna give that a quick clean. And that is what wipes your print head as it's going to rest onto the capping station. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna clean so that that's up. Older. Yeah, that's gonna have some ink on it. And then you can go in with your lint-free cloth again, just clean that up. You don't want to press, you just want to be gentle as possible. This is a gentle process. There we go. And that's how you clean the capping station. Perfect. So now we'll go ahead and plug her back in. And you just want to gently push your print head over. It should glide very, very easily. Perfect. So we go. And it's going to click back in place. You should be good to uh, turn the power back on. And that's going to boot up. Can we put the screwdriver back in on top? Yeah, so we can see how it's going to go through. 
After your uh, capping station clean, you're going to want to do a head flush on all your print heads. And there we go. It's doing its thing as normal. So everything's ready to go. Awesome. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.